Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of Amazon makeup. This is actually Amazon Choice Makeup. So you know when you go on Amazon and you search for something and then it'll say like either bestseller or it'll say Amazon Choice. So I'm doing Amazon Choice Makeup today. I'm actually gonna be using Amazon Makeup and I'm gonna be using Amazon brushes and sponges. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Personally, I've never bought any makeup or any makeup brushes or sponges or anything makeup related off of Amazon unless it's like my Mario Badescu spray that's literally the only thing I've ever bought off Amazon. Other than that, I've never purchased anything makeup related off of Amazon. So I'm really curious to see how this goes. A lot of these products are kind of like products that you can find at the drugstore. Some of these products are actually very shocking to me because they're literal knockoffs of products that, you know, you are going to be able to tell, okay, this is like a knockoff of this. It's pretty, pretty crazy. I also bought some lashes. The only thing I didn't buy is mascara and brow gel, I believe, but everything else I have so I have complexion I have eyes I have lips I have everything else I also didn't buy a gloss but I usually don't put on a gloss unless it's like I need to touch up my lips that's the only time I put on a gloss but other than that I have everything I have primers I have everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm very curious to see how this goes I'm kind of nervous because my skin does tend to be very sensitive and it does break out when I introduce it to like new types of like products especially makeup so I'm a little nervous but Hopefully it goes well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also ring the notification bell so you're notified when I post my next video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's see how this Amazon makeup goes. So I'm actually gonna start off with brows today. For brows, I got the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. And this was actually, again, Amazon Choice. This is the Amazon Choice brow product that came up. Anastasia Brow Definer Vibes, just a little bit smaller. Or um, also the Benefit, which one is that? Goof Proof Brow Pencil, I'm not sure. But it has that angle type of vibe. I, It's kind of chunky, if you guys can see. This is the shade Medium Brown, by the way. This is the spoolie, super small, like the tiniest spoolie ever. Um, don't really like that. I wish it would have given you like a bit of a more bigger spoolie, like a longer one, longer, thinner one, because it's kind of, I don't know, not really tickling my pickle. So I'm gonna see what this does and see how it goes. So I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna brush up my brows. I'm gonna start with my brows today because this palette, well, right off the bat, it's actually giving me really good pigment. But see, like, it's thick. I don't like that. It literally made the thickest brow tail ever. So I don't like the thickness of it. The pigment of it is good. It's a nice creamy pencil so far. It's not rough or anything. And I didn't even have to, like, warm it up on the back of my hand or anything. I literally just went right in. This spoolie is really bothersome. The fact that it's so small. It's working pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty nice. Um, the only thing I don't like is the spoolie because it's so tiny. And I feel like it's actually not doing a very good job of spooling my brows either. But I like it, it's very creamy. So just keep that in mind because I know some people are kind of like against very creamy, waxy type of products, eyebrow products specifically. Just keep that in mind. But it had really, all this stuff, mind you, had really good reviews on Amazon. Um, and they had a pretty good amount of reviews. So, you know, it's like obviously you need to look. It's like if it just has like one review and five stars, obviously you need to look for something that has like hundreds of reviews. So it has five stars. So I'm um, at like, I would say between four and five stars. I didn't pick anything underneath four stars because I was like, uh, that's, well, obviously Amazon's not gonna pick anything under four stars to be Amazon. Page, so, well. Anyways, let's continue. I don't really feel comfortable doing like my hair like strokes with this pencil just because it's so thick and I don't feel like it's gonna give me the right amount of like strokeage. So I'm just gonna fill them in and just brush up whatever product I have. I just, I'm pretty much just outlining the brow. I'm not filling them in. I'm just outlining and then brushing the product through. 
I'm debating whether I want to clean up my brows or just kind of move on because I really want to save the concealer or the concealer portion. You guys are going to be shook because low key I was shook when I saw this. I was like, wait, hold up. For eye primer today, I'm actually going to be using the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. And this was, again, I'm not going to keep saying it because we all know it's Amazon choice. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see. I usually don't use eyeshadow primers. I always just use my concealer and that's it. So I'm gonna see how, first I'm gonna see how it feels on the back of my hand because if I really don't like how it feels, no offense, but I'm just not gonna use it. Well, that's a lie because that'll be cheating, so. No smell, but it actually feels kind of greasy. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like my shadows are gonna stick well to this. So I'm gonna set, the primer with like a powder or some sort of you know like skin toned eyeshadow so I'm just gonna apply it I'm gonna apply it on my eye and just blend it out with my finger I think to really give it a fair shot I'm not gonna set it but the oiliness kind of concerns me because I feel like I need my eyelid to be pretty matte when I do matte and tacky and this is kind of it's not tacky and it's kind of slippy. Don't know how to explain it. But I don't want my eyeshadows to be slipping and sliding. I'm also curious about the brushes. The brushes, they don't seem bad, but they don't seem very good either. I think they're kind of just like, eh. They were very affordable for a full brush set. I think it was like 12 bucks or something like that. I'll link everything down below the exact things I bought. So for eyeshadows today, I have this palette and this is the Aromas You Can Be High Pigmentation Easy to Blend Eyeshadow Palette. The claims in the back say it is 18 shadows in four ready to layer textures, 11 buttery mattes, four pure glitters, and three pressed pearls. Mix and layer textures to create your own look. Dab the toppers on the center or all over your lids for a shiny pop. Layer an extra coat using your fingers for an extreme iridescent effect. Apply the pure glitter all over or line eyes with a firm flat brush to give you a playful hint of shine. This is the outside of the palette and as you can see, very type of reflectiveness. And this is the inside. And y'all, what I'm telling you, knockoff, it's knockoff. Tell me what that looks like. Tell me, because honey, <laughs> if it's not the exact same, I don't know what, like, what is, like, what is the exact same. Like, tell me, tell me. <laughs> like, really? I think I'm gonna do a side-by-side, -side, like, half Huda Beauty nude palette, half this palette, and see, like, what I get. I'm gonna actually do that. That'll actually be my next video, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, really, I'm, I've never played with the Huda Beauty palette because I don't have it. My sister has it, so I'm probably just gonna borrow it from her and be like, can I borrow this palette for this video? Well, I've never played with it. I've seen the palette itself and it's a gorgeous palette, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I've never like been like, oh, like, I need to have it. So I'm very curious. Oh, now I dried down the eyeshadow primer. It dried down now. It's not tacky or anything. I mean, it's not slippery. Oh my god, I am, this is so funny to me. I don't know why it's so funny to me. It just is. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start off now. I'm gonna take the shade Teddy down here and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade and see how these blend. Obviously, they give you a pretty nice mirror. Again, dipping into this shade Teddy, which is like a mauve brown type of shade. It's not super brown. It, all these shades, I would say, have like pinky mauve undertones. So let's see where it goes. And this is a Best Taupe brush. They don't have numbers on them, but this is again off of the Amazon kit. So I'm wondering how this is gonna work. The brushes I noticed right off the bat, they're not super, they're kind of like wiggly. They're not like really firm or like the bristles aren't like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna use a different brush because this brush is really like kind of irritating. It's too like flimsy. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but I'm gonna use this other BS Small brush. Again, it's this is from another kit. The first brush that I use, I think, is strictly like an eye kit, 
This one is like an iron face kit. I mean, the pigment is okay. I feel like this eyeshadow primer isn't the best. As I'm blending the shadows, the eyeshadow primer is kind of like balling up and I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. It's balling up and I feel like it's not giving me like the full pigmentation. And these brushes so far, not really impressed at all. Okay, um, so far, so, oh, not good. I feel like it's a little, okay, so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is the shade Fairy Tale, which is this shade right here. And I'm just gonna take that on the same brush. Kinda pop it right here on the outer corner and bring it into the crease. I mean, for like a cheap palette, this is not bad. The pigment is okay. I mean, it's not the best because, but again, I think it's not the best because of the this primer. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try it when I do the side-by-side -side comparison between this palette and the Huda palette. I'm gonna use my normal like eyeshadow primer and see if it makes a difference. Also the brushes, I'm obviously gonna use different brushes. So, cause these brushes, I'm sorry, but I'm never using them again. Cause so far they're, Disgusting like in my opinion, they're not working well for me. I Don't know. This is just like making me like irritated in a way because it's so not cute Moving on I'm gonna take this brush. It's kind of like a Flat shader type of brush and I'm gonna dip it to the shade wandering which is this shade right here And I'm gonna just take that on this brush and kind of just pack it on I feel like with this type of shadow, you need to pack it on because the blending doesn't really help you. This primer is really like grinding my gears. And that, people, is what grinds my gears. Tom? The fact that it's literally like balling up is annoying. It's a little bit better. I'm just pressing it on at this point. I'm not even bothering to blend because it's not giving me maximum maximum pigment. And this looks chalky. Have you guys can see? I think it's the primer because the primer is like coming through and it's like balling up and it's making the shade look chalky. We'll see if it's really the primer or if it's just this palette. I'll see. I don't get it. How is this Amazon choice? Like, did they give people like to do fake reviews? Because this is not Amazon choice for me. I'm gonna take a bigger blending brush and then I'm just gonna um, graze over it. I'm gonna take the shade Teddy and the shade Fairy Tale together. Kind of just graze over these edges. I like this brush so far. This is actually a really good brush. It's placing the color where I want and it's actually doing a really good job. I'm actually going to take the shade Sandalwood right here just to mix a little bit of neutrals into the mix. I'm going to take it on that same brush that I was using, this one, the BS Small Brush. I don't like how these don't have numbers or anything. That's kind of annoying. And again, I'm just packing it on. I'm going to pack it on this outer corner right here, kind of feathering it inward. Just creating a little bit more depth because I feel like... All those co colors kind of mesh together and and not in a way where it's like you could see the layers of the color. They kind of mesh together in a way where it's like all of it turned to mesh. And it's still kind of giving me that vibe. My eye. Ugh, that is so ugly. It literally look like I sprinkled like flakes of dandruff on my eye and I don't know if the camera is picking it up but like you see that right there like look at that what is that that never happens to me and I know I have dry eyelids but come on sweetie like that never happens with my normal priming like honey it's the primer I'm convinced I'm convinced it's the primer these brushes not helping me I'm actually gonna take one more shade. That sandalwood shade is the darkest shade in the palette, I think, but it did not give me a lot. So I'm gonna take the Love Bite shade right here, which is the dark purple shade. Again, same brush, and then just pack it on. 
literally probably not doing anything, but it takes me nowhere because it literally did not change my eyeshadow whatsoever. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the shade Dream World right here, which is the pink shimmer. I'm telling you guys right now, I swatched them on my hand and I feel like I really need to like dig into this palette because the pigment was just not, not it. I was applying with my finger. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna layer another shimmer on just to give it a fair shot. I'm gonna layer the brightest shimmer. I'm so confused how this was Amazon choice. Amazon, honey. Jeff Bezos, baby, what are you doing? Because this is not, you know, because this is not cute. <clears throat> I'm gonna dip into the shade Eager right here. I'm hoping this kind of remedy, remedies whatever I have going on here. This is more like a champagne type of shade. No. Um, I don't know, but I feel like these shimmers, they look they don't feel chunky, but they certainly look chunky. And they just don't look pleasing. I don't know if that makes sense. They look close up, they look very dry and very, um, very chalky. I'm gonna move on to my face now, really quick. I didn't get a, I got a hydrating primer, which I got the e.l.f. hydrating face primer, but I felt it. And I don't know if I'm crazy, this is like a silicone-y type of primer. This is not a hydrating, this is not gonna hydrate my face, like at all. It's not gonna like give anything to my face. And it feels very, feels very silicone-y, smells very silicone-y, and I saw the ingredients, and I think the first ingredient, of oh, the box is gone. I think the first ingredient was dimethicone. How's that supposed to hydrate my face? I don't know. So I'm gonna skip out on that, because I don't want my skin to like freak out, because I know it will. So I got a pore filling, or like a mattifying pore filling primer, and then I just got um, one of the setting sprays that was recommended, which is the Mario Badescu spray, and that's what I'm gonna use, because I really don't want my whole face to be breaking out. Like my skin's barely starting to clear up and I really don't need that right now. So first I'm gonna spray my entire face. I'm gonna spray my face with the Mario Badescu facial spray and this is the rose water scent. And um, I love this spray. I've been using this spray for like five years already. It's so good. Um, perfect for like skincare type of sprays. I used to use this as a setting spray, but then I was just like, I need something stronger. So this is good actually for a priming spray because it will hydrate your face. Personally, I don't think it's the best hydrating spray. I'm not gonna lie, but I need hydration. This is the only thing that's gonna give me hydration. So I'm gonna spray this really quick. Um, yes, I literally look like I just stepped out of the pool and I don't care because I feel like I need this hydration. I need it like so hard. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry. I'll be back. I'm actually gonna wet my sponges. This is the sponge set that I got. And these were also the Amazon Choice sponges. So, um, apparently I read the reviews and apparently they're like comparable to beauty blenders, which don't know about that going that deep but I will see I'm gonna wet the sponges I'll be back okay so for my pore filling primer which you guys know I always use a pore filling primer in combination with like either a long lasting primer or a hydrating primer and I actually am using the same brand again this is the Elizabeth Mott thank me later face primer and this claims it is mattifying pore minimizing and long lasting so we'll see again the first ingredient is dimethicone <sighs> Bless me. Um, let me see how this works. I, I literally just peeled off the sticker. So, Dimethicone actually makes me a little bit more oily. This, this does not even feel like it's mattifying whatsoever. It feels very slippy, very slidey. Um, I don't know. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm actually show you guys the difference of the sponge size. Look how much it, it grew pretty good they feel pretty soft so I have high hopes for the sponges and I hope they don't let me down I'm actually gonna start off with a foundation brush and this is from the foundation brush kit it feels very look at the look at the syntheticness of that and it's just like overly synthetic 
It feels very soft, very flimsy. Doesn't feel like it'll like really pack my foundation in, but we'll see. For foundation today, I have the Revlon Age Defying Foundation, and this has a SPF 20. And I got the shade Tender Beige, which I doubt is gonna be my shade because this looks a little bit too yellowish. Doesn't look like it'll be my shade, but we'll make it work. Very, it's like a thicky type of consistency, but it's not super thick. So I'm gonna coat the brush with it. Smells like, I'm gonna say like baby wipes. Um, no disrespect, but I think I'm literally gonna wash this makeup off, uh, off as soon as I'm done filming because I literally don't want to get any sort of reaction or anything, so. These brushes, they're okay. I feel like if you're like really barely starting off, you're better off going to like Morphe or a store that has affordable brushes. Just skip out on these. They're not that great, honestly. The quality is cheap. You could tell it's cheap too. I don't know, you guys. I really, it's not going right for me, which I honestly had pretty high hopes because you know, everything on Amazon, I buy a lot of things on Amazon. Like, I'm always on Amazon. I'm an Amazon fiend. Like, I probably get a package, I would say, every day. I have a lot of faith in Amazon. I have a lot of trust in Amazon. And, I don't know, I've been really let down right now. I've been let down and it hurts. I'm gonna move on to concealer. You guys are gonna be literally so shook. So, um, this, oh my god, and they really named it that too. That's so funny. So, I have this or key best concealer and it's literally it's a shape tape shape tape contour concealer this is the shape tape and this is a concealer I mean pretty similar right and I think the old shape tape this like the little component like the wand was a little bit different like it was more like this zigzag pattern but can you believe so I have the shade number four, medium beige, and I have the shade number three. So this is shade three and this is shade four. So I would say their shades are literally not, they're not good because first of all, how is this gonna be, shade three gonna be um, darker than shade four? It makes no sense to me. So I'm gonna go with shade four because it seems lighter. Clearly the wand is not her shape tape, um, but that's how it looks so far. It's actually a little bit thinner, I would say, than Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm gonna see how it blends out. Not as full coverage as Tarte Shape Tape, and it's not creaseless like Tarte Shape Tape, so that is, I mean, it's not a bad concealer, I'm not gonna say it's bad, it's actually pretty good, um, but the wand kinda, that's like a deal breaker for me. I feel like the applicator is a big thing. If it's not, if you're used to something, then obviously you get used to it, you get a little spoiled. So for powder today, I have the L'Oreal Hydra, Hydra Perfect Loose Powder. This is a perfecting loose powder, apparently. Again, Amazon Choice, this is in the shade Translucent. I'm really curious to see how this powder is. I've never tried any L'Oreal powders, so I'm really curious. Um, it looks a little pink right off the bat. It feels smooth, but then again, it feels grainy. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna take a clean sponge and do my normal setting. Scented for sure. These sponges actually aren't bad. They're actually pretty good. The, they gave me a nice coverage. It didn't take away any of my product. Um, I'm, but I mean, I'm not gonna say it's the best sponge, but it's pretty good if you're wanting some like affordable sponges. I'm using this powder all over my face because I only got one translucent powder. I got a like a pressed powder. I might use that to give myself like a little bit more color. This is actually kind of like a luminous powder. It gives a nice finish. I'm gonna take a uh, like another one of these brushes, and this is like a same type of situation, but this one's like a flat angled kabuki. I'm just gonna press a little bit more on. That primer actually did end up pour filling my pores, so. That's good. I have a pressed powder here. This is the Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder. This is a shade light medium. I'm just gonna add a little bit on that same angled Kabuki brush. I'm just gonna add it right here, the bottom of my face, just to kind of 
and give myself a little bit more color. So I'm gonna finish the eyes now. I'm gonna dip back into this palette. I'm actually gonna take the shade um, Sandalwood right here. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take that shade. And I'm gonna take a kind of like a flat type of brush. Let's see if I have any. Yeah, the flattish, flat, flattest brush that I found in this kit is this like angled brush and it's still not that flat as you can see it's a little thick. I'm gonna take the shade Sandalwood and just pack that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this small brush and this is in the eye kit I believe. Then take that and I'm gonna dip into the shade Fairy Tale and Teddy together and just kind of brush this out a little bit, kind of blending out the color. For my waterline, I'm actually gonna do a brown liner. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Ever Fail Eyeliner. Apparently, it says it's a 16 hour wear. Um, definitely not wearing this makeup for 16 hours, so I won't be able to say if that claim is true. But I'm gonna see how it glides on the eye. Literally not even picking up on the eye. And I warmed it up on the back of my hand. For lashes, I'm gonna apply these, not right now, but I'm letting you guys know what lashes I got. These are the Foam Mink 3D Effect Natural Soft Reusable 15 plus times. Plus easy application at Bethalon is the brand. So um, I don't know about these lashes. I'm very um, particular when it comes to my lashes. I don't really like dip into any drugstore lashes or anything like that because it's just not dramatic enough for me oh my god these look atrocious right off the bat they look so spiky i'm so scared i really don't like spiky lashes so while my lash glue is drying i'm gonna go ahead and bronze and i realized i didn't buy like a luminous powder like my hourglass powder which makes me so sad but i'm just gonna have to live without it today um i'm gonna use the physicians formula butter bronzer again i did not buy this on amazon but this was amazon choice bronzer so i am gonna just use it and see how it goes with these brushes because these brushes are not promising i'm gonna use this brush again it's a little bit of a stiff brush but this is the only brush that i have right now i think this will go better if i just press it in Definitely not a bronzer brush. Take this. Is it gonna soften it up? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely not a bronzer brush at all. It's not even like applying. This is like the dark shade too, and I don't even feel like it's applying that dark. It's Okay, so these brushes are legit trash. I wouldn't buy brushes off Amazon. Um, at least not these anyway. I'll link the ones um, below that I have just to make sure you guys don't get these brushes because they are not good at all. Okay, I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna bake underneath the bronzer. This powder is definitely not a baking powder. As you can see, it literally vanished. For highlight, this was the Amazon Choice highlight. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. I've actually never tried the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. Um, and this is in the shade Pearl. It looks super freaking white. So I'm very nervous about that. This is a highlighting brush that came in one of the brush kits. I'm gonna see how that goes. I am so nervous about this highlighter. That's really pretty. And this brush isn't bad. This color is nice, but I think I would get like a shade darker on the highlight because this is a little too starky white for me. It's a very intense glow. Um, I'm personally not into that anymore. I like more of like a glow from within type of look, which I guess you could get it to that point if you really blend in the highlight. So I'm gonna take my lashes down. say it was a little harsh on the lashes they don't look that bad I think they're a little bit more of like a natural lash 
for sure. Well, for me anyway, because I'm like super dramatic when it comes to lashes. Um, they're pretty. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take back a little bit of what I said about the lashes. They're pretty, but again, I personally wouldn't wear them because they just feel uncomfortable for me. Like they feel too synthetic. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. The band is a little bit thick and a little bit plasticky. So for me, it's just not comfortable. So I probably wouldn't wear these again. And I definitely wouldn't reuse these 15 times because they are synthetic and they're not going to be like that pretty. And they are a cheaper lash. So I personally wouldn't reuse them. So that's just my opinion, but to each its own. The eye look actually doesn't look that bad anymore, but I feel like it just, I wish it had a little bit more dimension. I feel like everything kind of fell flat and everything fell together, so. So for blush, this is the blush that it recommended me. Um, this is the Milani Baked Blush, and this is in the shade Illumino. So I used to be, on when I tell you this is like the only blush I used, this was literally the only blush I used. It was that good. Um, I geared away from it only because I had gotten to MAC blushes and I felt like those were way prettier. So, I mean, it's still a pretty blush. It's a nice peachy tone, but it is kind of, it's like a baked blush, so it's not gonna be that, like, it's gonna be a shimmer. And I'm gonna use it on this BS Small Face Angled Brush, which, see how that goes. This blush is so pretty. I forgot how pretty this blush is. Literally the only thing I'm not getting rid of today is this blush, it's so pretty. So for lips, I actually got a whole set of lip liners and these are from the brand Italia, which I know this brand, the, eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner they have is actually so bomb. 12 lip liners, super cheap too, and you get a pretty good variety of colors. So I have high hopes for these. I hope they're very, very good, very, very creamy. Another knockoff moment. So this is the Makeup Professional Beauty Glaze Matte Liquid Lipstick. So this is how the packaging looks on the outside. And then you pull it out. Who does that remind you of? Just say it, because you, you know it. Does it not give you Kylie Cosmetics like lipstick type of vibes? Like the ones that, like the little set she sells sometimes. I really feel like I'm trying on Kylie Cosmetics. So I'm gonna see how these work out. Nonetheless, the shades are really, really pretty. I'll do some swatches on my hand. Oh my god, even the writing is literally Kylie Cosmetics. Like, can we? Oh god, whatever. I'm gonna swatch from Darkest to Lightest. This is the shade Leo. My sister's a Leo. Hey girl. Um, I'm gonna swatch the shade on my hand and see how it looks. Smells like literally a plastic doll. So I don't know about that. The shade is a little patchy, but usually I expect that off of these darker shades because usually they do run patchy. So I'm not gonna use the shade for sure because I just don't know. This is the shade Kristen. Get out. Get out right now because doesn't she have Kylie Cosmetics has a shade? She has a shade Leo and she has a shade Kristen. This is a knockoff of Kylie Cosmetics. I've come to the conclusion. And the shade Leo is the exact same. The shade Kristen is literally the shade. I'm done. Okay, this is the shade Dolce K again. Kylie Cosmetics. Come on, baby, Kylie. Where's the lawsuit? Um, this is a really pretty shade. It's not gonna match with the look I have going though. Definitely don't smell like Kylie Cosmetics because her matte lipsticks actually smell really, really good. So this definitely, I'm scared to put it on my lips. Which one's this? Coco K. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. I think this one will actually be really pretty with this look. I think Coco K from Kylie is a little bit lighter. Nonetheless, still a knockout. I'm gonna put this one off to the side because I might use that one. This is a shade Candy K. Oh, here she goes. This is my shade that they hate. Um, Oh my god, I really can't believe, I can't believe it. Well, this one's pretty. Exposed. I think the Kylie shades are a little bit darker. Yeah, because Exposed from Kylie definitely does not look like that. This is very peachy. I'm gonna go with the shade Candy K, just because that is my shade from Kylie. I'm gonna take this nude lip liner. This is how they come sharpened though. They're like not sharpened at all. They have like a dull tip, so I'm gonna sharpen it. I'm gonna take, this is the shade natural and I'm gonna take that and just line my lips really quick it's 
So that's a cute lip liner. Actually, I really like these lip liners. They're really smooth, so. I forgot how much, uh, like I said, I'll link everything down below to tell you how much it costs, but I really think they're really cheap. I think it was like a couple bucks for all those lip liners. So I'm gonna try the lipstick now. <gasps> tell me why that's a perfect match. The lipstick is not that pigmented. I actually have to layer it. Usually with the Kylie ones, I don't have to layer. So unless it's a darker shade, then I have to layer it. But that tells you there. And it actually smells disgusting. It's on my, it's like obviously on my lips. So I like smell it on my nose. Ugh. Let me set my makeup now. I actually have a matte setting spray now because I usually need like a more like heavy duty type of setting spray when I finish my makeup. And this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. This says it has shine control, locks in makeup, quick dry, oily free. So I'm gonna see how this works. I've never used this spray, but I heard this one's really good. Ooh, and the spritzer is really nice. It's really light. Love that. That feels really nice. I think I'm gonna hang on to this because that feels really nice. And it's good for the summer right now because it, the Rimmel Stain Matte Powder, I'm telling you that powder is bomb and it really keeps my skin matte. So if it's anything like the powder, I'm gonna be impressed. All right guys, so this is the full face of Amazon makeup. Let me know what you guys think. I think the base actually came out pretty good minus the brushes. But any, every other product was good. Um, the products that I am going to keep for sure is definitely the Physicians Formula Highlighter. Obviously, I already have the Butter Bronzer, so let, that's not even an issue. Um, the blush, because I've used that before and I know it's a really good blush. That setting spray I just used, definitely keeping. The brow um, pencil, it was a nice pencil. It's not bad. Um, I feel like if you like more of that, the brow definer type of pencil, that is a good drugstore option. But personally, I like the thinner pencil. Give me a good payoff, like right away. So I would recommend that pencil for anybody who likes a type of pencil. Eyeshadow palette, um, no. Well, actually, I'm not gonna say no on the eyeshadow palette yet because I need to give it a fair shot with my brushes and see how it works. My brushes and my eyeshadow primer. Um, I think the eye look came out decent. It wasn't the best eye look I've created, but it's okay. The lashes, definitely not gonna wear these again. I hate that spiky lash. It's a cute lash um, if you're like more everyday, but I would rather go from cheaper, like another alternative, because these just are, they're too spiky for me and the, the band is too like plasticky feeling. I just, ugh, I mean. Oh, that concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, uh, no. I'm gonna have to pass on that because I don't like how, first of all, it's literally a complete knockoff. Second off, I don't I don't think it gave me enough coverage as my Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like if you're gonna knock something off, like call it the same name as something else, you really need to live up to the name. But it didn't give me like a super good finish. I think it, cause I could still see like these, this right here. And usually with my Tarte Shape Tape, I can't, it, it hides it. So definitely know on that. Those lip pencils, definitely keeping those. They're super pretty. Um, it has a pretty good array of colors. Um, definitely gonna use those again. Um, looking forward to using those. The sponges, they were okay. Personally, I'm not gonna use the sponges. I well, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna use it again. They were good sponges. Oh, the eyeshadow primer. No, that has to go. And that's actually being thrown away. And I think I actually threw it away. Yeah threw it in my trash because that is not a good eyeshadow primer. It literally started balling up and I think it like made the eyeshadows look chalky. Does that make sense? So no, definitely a no. Skip it on that primer. And the the pore filling primer, the mattifying one, it was okay. This one, just too dimethicone for my liking. So personally, it's going in the trash because I can't, if it feels dimethicone I'm not going to want to use it because I feel like everything that's too dimethicone makes me break out. The foundation, um, personally, I wouldn't use it again because it's just not my speed when it comes to foundation. If you like a dewy foundation, that's actually a good option for you from the drugstore. It's a nice dewy finish. It's going to give you actually pretty good coverage too. But I think that's it. Definitely the brushes, personally, um, only a few brushes I liked from the kit and that's not... For me, if I only like like two brushes out of like two kits, then it's not worth it for me. I wouldn't waste my time with the the brush sets from Amazon unless I find a really good one. But I I don't think so. I I'm gonna 
stick to my Morphe brushes for now because again, those are affordable. They're easily accessible now. You could go online, you could go to Ulta. They have pretty much a lot of the Morphe brushes that I use. The stores, they have so many Morphe stores and like so many malls now. If anything, you can't find a store near you, go online, that's literally the best. And I literally name all the brushes that I use in my videos and those are the br mostly Morphe brushes or Makeup Shack every once in a while, Sigma once in a while as well, and literally one MAC brush, a couple Smashbox, but most majority, I would say like 80%, 85% of my brushes are Morphe. So I would go ahead and check out those brushes if you're looking for affordable brushes. Yeah, that is my final verdict on this. I think most of it was a fail, definitely. Um, it doesn't look too bad, I would say, but I wouldn't go back down this road of buying Amazon makeup. Honestly, I, I'm surprised I even was able to work with the makeup because the eyeshadow was very, very annoying to work with and I think it was the primer. I'm, I'm gonna actually buy more shades of that highlighter because I think it's so good. It's so good. I don't know why I never like dibble dabbled into it before. But again, the blush is like amazing. But yeah, that is my final verdict on all this Amazon makeup. Um, do as you please. Again, I'm not gonna tell you don't buy this. I mean, I'm just telling my opinion. Um, if you guys wanna test it out, test it out. Part, and it's pretty cheap. I think I spent like oh, in total for a full face, I think 150 bucks. So that's really good. And if they deliver it to you, come on, what beats that? So that is my verdict on this full face of Amazon makeup. Please make sure you like this video. Comment down below what you think of this. Like, are you gonna buy any of this makeup? Do you buy Amazon makeup? I'm really curious. Tell me if you guys like have any good Amazon brushes because I'm really curious on the brushes. The makeup, I'm like, eh. the brushes, I'm. I'm willing to give them another shot, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you're notified when I post my next video. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!